what I'm going to be bringing you is Channel T's Strawberry Cheesecake. And I do welcome you all back once again to another cooking episode of Channel T's STL Cookdown. Um, I do appreciate you all stopping by. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on what I'm bringing you. Uh, as you see, are some ingredients on how I'm going to make my strawberry cheesecake. Okay, make sure you have your oven set at 325. It will take an hour for it to get done. Alright, I put in my four 8 ounce cream cheese cake. Well, cream cheese, I'm sorry. I put in four Philadelphia 8 ounces of cream cheese. Now the thing is, you can do any type of cream cheese that you like. Um, it's necessarily not recommended to do Philadelphia, but Philadelphia cream cheese is the best choice. Alright, so I put in three eggs already. Um, if you have two big eggs, then I prefer you to put two big eggs and not three big eggs, but... If that's what you like, then that's cool on you, but I prefer three small eggs, and if you want to do two bigger eggs, that would be great as well, or however more you want. Alright, I put in one and one-fourth cup of sugar. I also put in a one teaspoon of real vanilla extract. Alright, and I'm going to put some strawberries in here next. Uh, now as far as the strawberries, they already is in sugar, so you don't have to necessarily put that much sugar in the cheesecake mix, um, but you can put how much you like. I prefer a little bit more. Um, now there you go. Alright, and also make sure that you put in the heavy cream as well. It's also good if you like to put in sour cream, but I don't like the sour cream part of it. Um, but as far as the heavy cream, um, the teaspoons, you can do four of them. If you do the tablespoon, you can do two of them. That's my preference on um, the heavy cream for the cheesecake. Alright, so you will like to start off blending it. First medium speed for at least one minute at the most. Then we go make sure that you want to also get everything, the eggs, the salt, the, the vanilla as well. Alright, so make sure you want to at least whip it around for up to five minutes. That way you're getting rid of all of the chunks as well. Um, if you like, you can add milk, but I don't want milk in the strawberry cheesecake. Um, it's preferable. Um, I prefer the heavy cream part to make up for the milk. Alright, so now I am at the crust. I'm going to um, show you guys how to make the crust. It's real simple. It's not that hard at all. Basically, all you have to do is just pour some butter in there. If I was you, I'd put a stick in there. Um, uh, one stick of butter, but um, maybe it's um, best if you... Um, not familiar with it, um, with uh, making a cheesecake, then you probably want to do a half a, a stick of butter. Alright, as you can see, I am mixing it with my hands, and I'm going to be soon patting it out. Okay, so as you can see, I already have my cheesecake uh, crust. 
uh, padded out already. All you have to do, um, like I showed you, is just pat it with your hands. Um, if you're doing it for company, um, I prefer you just use like a circle um, screw from a top of a jar. That'll, uh, that'll do it for you right there. Yeah, those are some of my famous teas, marinated chicken wings. Um, I'll get to that at another time. But take a look at them. All right, just make sure you spread out the cheesecake filling. As you see, a few little chunks in there still, but I believe it's going to melt once you cook into it. All right, got that bad baby in the oven. Remember, it takes an hour. Um, the way you know that is done, just stick a toothpick into it. And if it don't stick to the toothpick, that's a good sign that it's done. I will be back with a part two to show you how it turned out. Make sure you like and subscribe to my page and leave a comment. Thank you.